What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're going to be opening a couple of these Legacy of Darkness packs just to make sure that this box is legit until we pull at least one or two foils. Also, you guys saw in the insane mail day, first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. We're going to be weighing these out. I'm not, probably not going to do it on camera. I'm going to weigh all these out and I'm going to try and get the heavies out. If it works out, we're going to open one heavy. To make sure everything's legit, you guys are going to get to hopefully see a hollow first edition card. Could be the $100,000 Blue Eyes White Dragon PSA 10 because it's wavy packs. So hopefully that works out, but let's get into the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three LOB original print unlimited cards. We're opening LOB, so I should give away some original LOB. How about that? All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed. Let me know what you want to see from Legacy of Darkness and Legend of Blue Eyes. Please put blue eyes and please hope it helps. Let's get into it. Wait, hold up. This video is sponsored by Mercari. Tons of you guys watching this video are selling cards monthly, weekly, or even daily. When you have a Yu-Gi-Oh collection, you're buying and selling constantly. I have a new way for you guys to do this, and that's through Mercari. Mercari is a marketplace that brings buyers and sellers together in a flea market style app. So if you guys are not really sure how to get into selling, this is a really easy way to do it. Grab some of your Yu-Gi-Oh cards and go ahead and list them. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Selling on Mercari.com is super easy. You just go to the sell button on the top right when you're on the website, you gotta upload your photos. So whatever you're gonna sell, just go ahead and take the two photos that I have. And my cover photo is the front of the trap hole BGS9. That's what I'm selling. And then I have the back. Then you go down to your title, you go ahead and name it. And then if you wanna get a description, go ahead and describe it a little bit better. So that way people can have an idea. Then you go down here for hashtags and they have a, they have suggested stuff. So we have trading card game down here. You can go ahead and click it and it'll have it in there. Hashtags, you can add like Yu-Gi-Oh. You can add hashtag trading cards. You can add a hashtag game, stuff like that. Then you can go down to the brand. They suggest Konami. Go ahead and click that because it's made by Konami. Nice and easy. Uh, it's not completely new. So we're going to go with light new because it's a mint condition card, but it's not actually brand new. Then it gives the, uh, it go ahead and ships from your address if you have it connected. Let's go ahead and pay for shipping here because it's going to be an expensive card. We'll go ahead and set the price at $600 for this thing. You guys can put whatever price you want for your cards, whatever you think they're worth, whatever you think a fair price or what will sell. There's also all kinds of uh, like fees and stuff. So the fees for Mercari, selling fee, we get the processing fee, and then the shipping. So I end up earning $518. So you can see what you're gonna do. So then I'm gonna turn off smart pricing because I don't wanna lower my price. Right now it's automatically on. You wanna go ahead and turn it off if you don't want it. If you do want it though, it'll put your price, if it doesn't sell, it'll lower it a little bit and then it'll go all the way to your floor until it sells. And then you just have to click list. Yeah, I think you have to connect your payment information so you can receive money, but I've already done that. So go ahead and do that. And boom, I'm listed, I'm ready to go. And just list just like I did, it's pretty easy. Check out Mercari by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks again to Mercari for sponsoring the video and I hope you guys have great luck selling. All right, so we have the open 36 pack box. Let's go ahead and open a few of the packs. So let's just let's just start off. Let's open a few. I don't really have a, a goal of packs in mind. I just kind of want to open some packs, you know? And first edition LOD, why not? Can we pull the injection fairy lily? That's the question. Will they be legit LOD? You know, will they have actual hollows? We're about to find out because I bought the box open. It was just on eBay, so I don't know if the box is legit or not, but let's try this. Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuvenation, Bad Reaction to Samochi, Robo Lady, and Creature Swap right out the bat. We have an Ultra Rare. Centering is awful. It's Legacy of Darkness. What else can you expect? First Edition. Look at that pull. That's pretty awesome. A Creature Swap. Pretty good card. Pretty good card. Mint Condition. Way OC. That's just, I think this is one of the lowest pop cards, like two or three in the whole set, which is the set already has low pop, so it's pretty cool. What's in the rest of the pack? We got a Soul Demolition, Convulsion Nature, the Woodland Sprite. I hate that card, and Dragon's Gunfire. So already one pack in, ultra rare. So it looks like it looks like we got a real box, guys. What else do we want to see? I've never pulled a creature swap, so that's really cool. Creature swap. Um, of course, we want to see the Injection Fairy Lily. Um, you guys will have already had a live stream with this, so hopefully we already pulled it by the time you see this. You're probably going to see a lot of Legacy of Darkness because this is coming out around then. Bark of Dark Ruler. Why does that feel like... <laughs> I don't know. It felt like kind of flimsy. Wing Dominion. We've got a Burst Breath. These were probably not stored in the best spot just based on the box. It's a little brown. So I bet they might be not in the best like condition in terms of that. 
Bottomless Trap Hole. Okay. But this feels okay. Bottomless Trap Hole. The first couple were a little flimsy. That's probably worth a couple bucks. That's a nice rear. Bottomless Trap Hole, first edition, Legacy of Darkness. Very nice. Okay, let's go into a third Legacy of Darkness pack. I'm enjoying this so far. Let's open a few more. Yeah, because if you don't open enough, somebody in the comments will be like, won't you open all the packs? I'm not going to open all the packs. So about that? All right, let's go. Skull Knight number two, Dragon's Rage. And we will eventually open all the packs. Ryukishin Cloud. I do have a plan for a lot of these packs, though, and it's going to be an epic video. Heart of Clearwater. And a Ray of Revealing Light with the Dark Greffer in the middle. Nice. Wolf Axe Wielder. Secrets of the Bandit and Lizard Soldier. Yeah, some of these cards feel strange. It's like they're, uh... Yeah, it's like they were stored in somewhere too hot. I think that's what it was. So they're almost a little bit too uh, flimsy. But the, the rares have felt good, which is good. All right, we have a Ryu Kishin Clown. Let's pull at least one more hollow. Heart of Clear Water. You get nine per box, occasionally ten. Mysterious Guard out of 36 packets, pack boxes. Thunder Nyan Nyan. We've got the... Uh, 1900 with a big downside <laughs> okay next pack fifth pack first edition legacy of darkness let's see what we can pull here will it be something insane come on troop dragon let's get injection fairy whoa whoa talk about bad centering what is this? that's even bad for lod function mirror that's just as bad oh my goodness patricia darkness those are all awful and here we go Magic Reflector. Okay, greatest option, the Illustrious Gentleman, Legendary Ocean, and Robo Yaru. That was some awful centering on those first few comments. Okay, this one I'm guessing will have a foil, I think. We're on the six pack. It may or may not, but uh, that's my guess. Here we go. Stamping Destruction. We've got a Spring of Rebirth. Throwstone Unit. Super Robo Yaru. And the A-Force is another Warrior Digreffer. He's on literally everything. A Legendary Ocean, Robo Yaru, Wolf Axe. We've seen a lot of the same commons. I don't think it's that small of a set, so it's interesting. So far, one foil out of six packs. But I said one more, so we got to keep going. Smoke Grenade of the Thief. That's a good one. It's still worth quite a, it's still worth quite a bit after the reprint, so we're going to pull that over there. Skull Knight number two. We've got the Dragon's Rage. Ryu Kishin Clown. Uh, what? <laughs> Double Ultra, and this centering is like, it's a little better. It's not its not great, but it's a little better. Two creature swaps out of the same box? That's so weird. <laughs> okay, wait. The centering is slightly better, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's not much better. That's pretty cool, I, I guess? I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> that is so weird. All right, let me sleeve this smoke grenade. All right, so that's probably all we're going to open for LOD. That's just that's just weird. Okay, we'll take it, though. Two Ultra Rares, pretty good. This is definitely a legit box, pretty exciting. There should, hopefully is an Injection Fairy Lily in there. Some Supers, an Ultra that's not Creature Swap, hopefully. Let's move on to LOB. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, First Edition Legend of Blue Eyes. I'm going to attempt to scale these out for the heavier packs. The reason is I bought these loose. We agreed they were unweighed. I don't want to have to open all the packs to confirm that. I want to save a few for future videos. We're just going to be opening the heavy packs. The light packs will be for sale. So if you guys are interested in a pack with no hollow, yeah, make sure you know that there's not a hollow in it, then hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, or email at Ruxon34 for the social media and the emails in the description. Let's try and weigh these. All right, guys, we're back and it didn't work out that smoothly. So we're, we're about to have to do some opening. So we're not going to open a ton of packs, I don't think, but I think that these four, they appear to be quite a bit heavier. So I believe those are hollows. These three are all the same. They're just under these, but they are less for sure. But they're very, also very close to the other light packs. So I kind of want to try one of these and see if it's going to be a hollow because, you know, you, you get six to seven. Four is obviously not a full box ratio if this was actually a box, but seeing that glossy symbol kind of threw it off. So. We don't know for a fact that these are going to be even, you know, there's even hollows in here. So what we're probably going to do is open one of these. And then if it doesn't have a hollow, we're going to open one of these heavier ones just to make sure there are hollows in general. So hopefully these have hollows, but I don't have that much faith in them. So we're going to start and we're just going to open this up. It is a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes pack. So let's see what we can do here. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, let's check the seals, make sure there's been... Is there any funny business there? If you guys see anything sketchy you think, hit me up. I mean, there's always a little bit of that stuff that's just the residue um, from, you know, being sealed for a long time. Hmm, what is that? I don't know. That could be normal. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. There's a little bit of something there. We don't want any sort of resealing. So let's see. Let's check. That seems to come open pretty normally. That does as well. So, so far it feels okay. The pack looks pretty good. Let's see if there's a hollow in here. It could just be, these could all be light packs. You never know. So let's see if we can pull a foil. Obviously the goal here, first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon. Anything ultra rare is awesome as well. I mean, really anything hollow, but ultra rare is just crazy. Big four, Exodia head. Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes are obviously the goal. So let's check these. These, those look wavy. I can't remember what wavy commons look like. It's going to be a lot easier to tell on the foil. So um, I think these look wavy. I think wavy are a little bit more dull. I've never opened wavy, so not sure. So that's another thing. We're going to be looking at those. The pack code said wavy, so we're going to find out. We've got a Yurabi. This is a two mouth dark ruler. The centering on these commons looks pretty good, which is nice. So maybe I'll upgrade them eventually when PSA opens back up. $20 a guard's a lot though, so I'm not sure. We got two mouth dark ruler. Hinotama, can we pull something good? We've got 500 damage of direct damage. 500 direct damage to the opponent. All right. Armored starfish, as you can tell, I'm getting pretty nervous. Here we go. Can we pull something good? Polymerization, but wait a second. This is This is a glossy card. This is not a wavy card. So maybe it looks like my information on the pack was wrong. So the good side is there's a couple of things here. If it's a glossy box, that's why it's so much tougher to scale. Secondly, it actually did maybe come out of this box, so that's a good thing. But I don't really, I won't be able to confirm which is which. So we got a poly. Look at the, look at the, um, wow, look at those print lines. Well, that is crazy. Okay, so we've pulled a polymerization. That's an incredible super rare. I don't know what to, I don't know. So that we know the packs are legit, which is good. So I know that we've been sold real packs. I don't know if I can sell light packs though now. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe I'll open the heavies. And if they turn out to be heavy, you know, we get all the foils out of them, then I can sell them as light packs, but um, they might not be light now. So I don't know if I'd be selling light or if I'd be selling unweighed. So we have polymerization. I'm so confused. I thought this was, from what I saw, this was a wavy pack, but this is definitely not a wavy pack. You look at that card, you look at the foil, you guys see that? Not wavy. Not wavy at all. Definitely a glossy card, which is a little disappointing. I was really looking forward to wavy cards. Um, so now I don't know if we have a Gaia box or a Trihorn box, but uh, yeah, I think I think it said it was a Trihorn glossy box on the IPC for the box. So I think it's a Trihorn box. We're about to, we're going to find out. So this is a weird video. Very weird. We did get a foil. So did the weighing work or did we get lucky? I'm not sure. So these two weighed the exact same as this polymerization. So I'm gonna try those in a different video. And then these four were a lot heavier. So I think these could be, it could be heavy. I don't know. I really don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, let's finish out the pack. We only opened half the pack. Root water, we got drooling lizard, sparks. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, so I think those, I mean, I think those are glossy comments. So that's kind of weird. At least the centering was good on the front, you know, front four of them. The back were not. So a lot like all the glossy I've opened. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this first edition LOB, first edition LOD opening. It was pretty awesome. If you guys want to support my channel, use my TCG and eBay affiliate links below. It supports the channel when you buy anything on those sites. That's pretty awesome. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>